Hey, what's up, boxing fans? This is the Rope of Dope Report. I am your host, Chris Carlson. Look at that old school LaMotta Robinson. You gotta love it. Anyway, this is for the Glenn Johnson and Alan Green, uh, I guess, replacement fight. It's happening tomorrow night. Um, showtime on the undercard of Marquez Lopez, um, which I'm excited to see that fight as well. Um, this is interesting because of the weight issue. The only reason why I'd even think about Glenn losing this fight is because of weight. And I guess you could put in a second point say, excuse me, saying um, that he did get hit plenty and actually hurt. And you don't see Glenn hurt that many times in his career. And he was hurt. He was stumbling. Although he performed very, very well against uh, Tavoris Cloud in August, he was hurt, so I guess you got to put that in too. Did he take too much of a beating that night and coming back 90 days later to fight? Is it 90 or is it 120? I think it's 90. Three months ago, right? August, yeah. September, October, yeah. So, um, but it's also a good thing because kind of like what I said in the last video with Zab is the fact that he just fought in August, he took a little break, and now he's back in the camp. So he's definitely going to stay sharp and for the weight issue as well. Now he's got to go to 168. He hasn't made 168 in 10 years, I guess. So he got a nutritionist. He's, you know, he's, he's doing the right things. And the thing about Glenn is, although he comes in shape, he comes in good shape and he can throw a bunch of punches and keep going in there, especially at his age. The guy is phenomenal that way. But it's not like he's just shredded. Great shape. Plenty of fighters and athletes in great shape. But, you know, they don't necessarily have, they could still lose a little uh, volume, a uh, fat volume, fat percentage, whatever you want to call it. So I think that he can make it, and I think he'll do it smart. So I'm going to go with a, I'm going to go with a KO. Screw it. Yeah, I'm going to go KO. Why not? I'm going to go KO or at least a decision. Um, and I'm going to go with Glenn Johnson. I think that it'll be interesting to see what Alan Green will bring to the table after getting beat down. Um, Alan Green is one of those things, man, you know, right after the fight against Ward, he's like, oh, I got to go to 75, you know, and that was his excuse, and it's like, you know damn well you're not, one, you're not going to 75, because your contract, you have to, you have to fight at 168, so that was kind of weak, and not kind of weak, that was weak to be like, go to Andre Ward instead of saying, hey, good fight, he's like, oh, I got to go to 75, I got to go to 175, I can't make the weight, and here he is fighting at 168 again, not too long ago, that fight, what, was in June? So, um, Alan Green has some skill. I just think he's limited. I think he's overrated. Um, I think that when he steps up to a high level, he just doesn't perform. At it. I just don't think he has it overall. Now, he could be hungry. He could bounce back and give Glenn some trouble. Don't get me wrong. But I just think overall, Glenn is a guy that keeps coming forward, uses a jab, flurries, steals rounds. I just see Glenn winning. Anyway, this has been the Rope and Dope Report. I'm your host, Chris Carlson. Peace.